The uncontrolled sale and transfer of arms to some of the world's worst human rights abusers is thanks to greed, hypocrisy and inaction. 20 years ago, the worldwide civil society movement led by Amnesty International had a simple revolutionary idea. Let's stop the flow of arms to countries where they are used to commit atrocities. The immense challenge to regulate the arms trade began and the ATT or Arms Trade Treaty was born. October 9, 2003. I support this dream through the launch of the International Control Arms Campaign, which calls for governments to control the trade in weapons and provide community safety and human security for the citizens through the ATT. I'm 17 years old, but I have lost my mother with these guns. With this kind of guns. The armaments industry is an industry out of control. We have seen the United States and the United Kingdom and their allies fight a war in the name of destroying weapons of mass destruction. But the real weapons of mass destruction are small arms and light weapons. Factories where these guns are being, are being manufactured. Why does the international community pin a finger and say stop the guns? Now we have 10,000 of these in secret locations outside the UK to sell today. There are rather convenient loopholes in the rules governing the arms trade around the world, so uh -huh. you needn't worry, you won't get in trouble. One million people from 160 countries around the world have given their photos and self-portraits to the Million Faces Petition. I thank you for presenting me with the petition. The faces in it prove that uh, a picture can speak not just a thousand words. In this area, this weapon is used as a credit card. When you have it, you have the power. I think it's a very important uh, action, a public action we are doing today in front of the White House. For 20 years, Amnesty International has campaigned for arms trade treaty, and the time is now. We're just opposite the United Nations, and the final draft about uh, to be produced of what an arms trade treaty might be. We're now just waiting and hoping that in this last 24 hours, uh, we're able to grasp that prize. Those in favor, please signify. Similarly, those against, please signify. Draft resolution A slash 67 slash L58 is adopted. Well, this treaty is going to have a massive impact. It's going to save millions of lives. It's a real tribute to civil society that they made the call on states to stop this transfer of arms that could be used to commit atrocities and equally respect to the countries that heeded that call. This treaty shows that when members of the public come up with a really good idea that will make the world better, they really can make it happen and make a difference on a global scale.